Alaska's sports source. The Alaska Baseball League Championship need I say more. An entire summer ball leading up to this, but it doesn't have to end tonight. Game two of the top of the World Classic. The Pilots took game one of the best of three last night. Matsu Miners looking to force a winner-take-all game three on Sunday, but Will Bermudez says, I already made plans. We're going to try to end this tonight. Will, you're cleared for takeoff. A two-run homer over the scoreboard. A moonshot worthy of a moose head. Pilots up 2-0 early, but after getting roughed up initially, Drew Christo and the Miners started to settle down several innings without giving up a hit. And at the plate, out hit the Pilots, finally catching a break in the seventh inning when a wild throw brings in their first run of the ball game. And here to tie things up, the very next inning is Emilio Barreras delivering a bloop single. And that will be good enough to not game two at two in the eighth inning, but sometimes the game is as simple as whoever makes fewer mistakes. And an Aaron throw off a bunt is going to score Blake Jackson and move Garrison Berkeley all the way to third. And he's brought home the very next batter, Jacob Stinson, RBI single to make it a four to two ball game. Miners with one last chance, but Mac Zawitski sits him down in Anchorage. Glacier Pilots pull off the rare three P back to back to back Alaska Baseball League champions. It's indescribable. It's one of the best feelings I've ever felt. I'm going to take away the family nature of here. You know, uh, the state of Alaska took us all in, you know, cheered for us. Even when we're doing bad, cheered for us, stuck by our side. So that family orientation here, I'm going to take that. Meanwhile, on the mound for the champion pilot, 17-year-old Casey Uper from Irvine, California, six and a third, one earned run and three strikeouts with coach acknowledging after the game, that he is the first 17-year-old in Alaska Baseball League's deep, rich history to get the start and the win on the mound in the ABL Championship Series. And as the youngster, you know we heard it all year long from opponents and fans. A ton, yeah. A lot, a lot of comments, um, but it's fun. It just fires me up. You know, I'll definitely take away a lot, but, you know, I just felt like I grew up here, you know? I, just living with, you know, 20-year-olds, you know, college players, it really just matured me, I feel like. While it's a three-peat for the Glacier Pilots, their first in their 50-plus year history, it's also a three-peat for Anchorage's very own Taryn Sagita, the former South High Wolverine, has been a pilot the last three years and bought three Pete to his hometown team. Really special. I always grew up watching the Pilots and the Bucks play, and it was a dream of mine to play for the Pilots and to be able to come back for the last three years and win a championship on top of it. It's just cherry on top of the cake right there. More than 100 college baseball players from around the country spending the summer here in Alaska playing ball under the midnight sun. I know it's something that they carry with them throughout their careers. For moments like these, shout out to the Miners players for sticking around, signing autographs, and taking pictures with fans even after defeat.